All right, what's going on, guys? Today we're watching Horimiya uh, episode five. Um, I've got nothing saved for the start of the episode, but I'm just really looking forward to it. Um, so as always, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm really trying to heat, uh, reach 500 subscribers on the channel and then on to the goal of a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. So anyway, let's go into the episode right now. I wonder how she will deal with the situation. I think he'll be completely normal and just go with the flow and act like it isn't a big deal, to be honest. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder if he's going to think that he's uh, seeing another girl or something. <laughs> huh? <laughs> the kids the kid just say something like that. You're not even going out, are you? <laughs> but he's definitely not anyway, so it's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Miyamata's going to die. Yeah, do that. Clear it up. It's fine. Yeah. Do it. Send it. Send it. It'll be cleared up. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, he probably thinks it's because he told her that he loves her. And then she is assuming something about this situation as well. Oh, God. <laughs> no. Talk about it. Speak. Oh, yeah? Mm, okay. We're going to start talking about this. That's good. <laughs> he's not going to He's not gonna lie to you. What is it? Cousin? Sister? Just middle school friend? Yeah. She, she might be a sister or something. Come on, spell it out. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's fine. <laughs> chica chica! <laughs> do 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 do. Tell her that. Maybe you should start calling her a first name, you know? I do respect anime like this that just get these issues out in the open very early on in the episode and don't drag it on for a whole episode. I mean, now we have a new issue, but at least the first one's kind of resolved. <laughs> I love the facial expressions. <laughs> oh, I love this anime. Books are expensive. If you're going to throw them at them, at least get them back. <laughs> You're a bit clueless sometimes, bro, I'm going to be honest. Don't. Don't. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. I, lo I love this anime. I actually love this anime. The The relationship between them, it's so... It's very healthy. Um, and it's very non-kind of stereotypical cliche rom-com kind of relationship you see in anime. It's just very refreshing. And now we're, where is this going to go from here? Hmm. Who the hell is this? Who is this? Who's this older dude smoking a cigarette in the living room? Is this a brother or something? <laughs> Who is this new hooligan that's come into the picture? <laughs> dad? That's a dad. That's her dad. <laughs> no way. He looks pretty young, I think. <laughs> She's got an interesting dad. <laughs> Jeez, her dad seems cool. <laughs> This is an interesting way of interrogating a dude. <laughs> this explains this one explains a lot about uh, Hori and tr two. Also, it's funny just to see his personality compared to Miyamoto's. Why? <laughs> oh, <laughs> this dude's definitely like Yakuza or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I like that. <laughs> kind of forcing them to use the first name. <laughs> Say yes. Say yes. You, what? Yes! <laughs> I don't think either of you have officially asked each other yet, but cool. You've got long hair. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I think it'd look cool tie back, actually. I mean, yeah, he ties it back sometimes, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, I love this already. Imagine meeting your girlfriend's dad for the first time within 10 minutes he's brushing your hair. <laughs> oh, big fat loser. Oh, are they like exes? Like divorced kind of thing? Or. Oh. <laughs> I love this episode. Do you not just call him dad? So you're 
so you guys are going out. Oh, <laughs> I feel like you should know a little bit about her by now. <laughs> but I guess you got you're gonna have loads of time together, so why not? Oh, oh, so cute, man. I like how she walks him home as well. It's always like the dude like walking a girl home in anime. It's super cliche. Look at him, he's so embarrassed. <laughs> What, did he just tell Toru? Oh, he did tell him. Oh, dude, you're, you're a good bro. But you need this. It's time, to, it's time to move on. You can cry. You can cry about it. Get to know the green-haired girl from uh, Student Council. She's super nice. See, she she likes you. <laughs> I'm not. I'm still not super into the, this uh, the pink-haired girl at Amy. Because of her actions so far have been a bit snaky, but... I mean, it's probably just part of her personality, and she seems to be friends of Sakura here, so... I also get the idea now that... That Amy is never kind of taken seriously, and she's kind of just seen as this cute... Fluttery character, which is what's happened with her personality. That's what I'm getting from this situation. I could be wrong, but it's just me theorizing about it. Oh, have they known each other for a long time? Yeah, she's right. <laughs> you need to have more confidence in yourself. Obviously, I really like the confident characters in this show. But um, it's still it's still pretty normal and nice to see characters that are still trying to get through their way with things and um, still struggling with things like this. You know, not everybody can be like a Miyamaru or Hori. Um, or even uh, Remy in this situation. So, yeah, it's still see it, nice to see in kind of the op op opposite kind of sides. Um, in the anime. You th you're still bros. Terror is a good guy. Terror is a really good guy. Being able to move past your feelings like this for your, your like, your best friend is... <laughs> is really nice. Another thing as well, I like that about this anime, I keep finding points of things that I enjoy and I've noticed, is that Toru in this situation has already gotten his chance to confess his feelings for Hori. Um... And I just really like that, that now he's like kind of got his closure in knowing that Miyamaru has, has confessed his feelings and it's worked and they are together. And now he has his closure and he can hopefully move on from this now, um, healthily, I should say, into hopefully a relationship with uh, Sakura. So I'd, I'd really like to see that happen. What, what are we laughing at? I don't get it. I'm confused as you, bro. Wait, who's, who's Izumi? Oh, little kid named uh, Izumi, okay. Well, she wants you to call her by her first name too, you know. Boko. <laughs> Boko Izumi. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> it does from now on. <laughs> she come in and she's like, Baka, Baka Izumi. And the little kid's like, what? <laughs> right, so that was Horimiya episode 5. Once again, a brilliant episode. Um, it just really flows so nicely and comfortably. Um, like I said as well, it's just very kind of healthy and not really, um, you know, leaving entire episodes just to get one thing out of the way. Like, what have we got out of the way in this episode? We've got, um, the, the love confession confirmed that she was awake. Um, the kind of misinterpreted kind of who is this girl that was walking with uh, Miy Miyamura. Um, realizing that they are actually together now um, and... Like, me and Mori getting to meet uh, Hori's dad as well, which was a cool situation. That kind of cleared a lot of things as well. Um, me and Mori letting Toru know that they are together now, and because they're friends, you know, it's it's only right that they'd tell him something like this. Um, seeing Sakura's situation with Toru and how Raimi's dealt with it as well. And honestly, it just feels so packed, and it feels like all of the episodes have been this packed, which is super nice, but it's also not confusing or hard to follow. Like, it's just it's just a really well written story in my opinion. So from what I've seen so far, it's it flows really nicely. Um, yeah, I'm really really enjoying the anime, and I really look forward to the episodes every week. And I think that's all I really have to say. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.